Welcome to my channel. If you're here, I'm going to take a wild guess that you're interested in photography or perhaps you might be a woman who really wants to be photographed and feel empowered. My name is Maria with Marabella Portraits. I am a professional photographer from Houston, Texas. And today we are going to be talking about posing for plus size women. I have some questions for you because on TikTok there was a little bit of controversy for me because um, one of the posing tutorials that I gave was about you know taking your mobile phone and shooting from down below but you have tons of experience with a lot of photographers. Do you find that most photographers only want to photograph you from above? Um, do you see a difference? Um, can you tell? Are all your images the same? Like give us all the tea on this because all people, yeah, people were so mad. They were like, you're breaking the rules. You have to photograph people from above. But I mean, I personally, like I know I'm not thin, like I know I'm fluffy here and like I know. so. Don't try, I don't necessarily want to look thin in my photos. I want to look like me, but I just want to have a nice silhouette. Um, the shape. Yeah, I want to have a nice shape. I want to feel hot um, when someone's photographing or videoing me, hint, hint. Um, <laughs> but like if everybody was shooting me from above, I feel like maybe I'd be a little bit offended. But you give me your perspective since you've been doing this for a while. Well, I get both. Mm -hmm. I get up from above and from the bottom. The only one I really do not like is all the way like on the floor. Right, so I think it just depends definitely on the, the lens that you're using and then the distance that you're using. So we're definitely lens, gonna be covering that today. As a model, pay attention to what lenses your photographers are using. Uh, my favorite happens to be the 85 because I feel like it gets my proportions Like right, the in best. camera. Mm -hmm. And there's not as much distortion. Um, so pay attention to those things. They're important. Uh, give feedback when they're showing you the back of their camera. Mm -hmm. Be honest. Yeah. Because this is you. It's about you. And it's about their work. So you both want to do a good job. So give feedback. But I don't like to be shot way up high. And just and get, that, right? And like just give us that. variety. <laughs> because then you don't see any of the curves right. that I have. Yeah. So definitely you want to keep that in mind as a professional photographer. It's all about variety. Yes, absolutely. If you're shooting someone from down below, right, right down below, you're going to go up the nostrils. You're going to see like the chin here. So there is a specific distance. I will show you guys in a later tutorial how I shoot plus size women and actually all women because I treat all my clients the same. So let's get started. Okay, so when it comes to posing anyone, not just plus size women, I like to start off with our base. Our base being our two legs right here and where we put the weight of our bodies. Because we wanna feel feminine, we don't wanna have a muscular stance. So anything where our weight is evenly distributed is gonna make you appear bigger and more masculine, which is great for men, because we want them to feel you know, broad and strong. But as women, we don't necessarily wanna look like that. So you always wanna shift your weight to one side or the other. And you naturally will stand like that. I mean, she's a pro, so obviously she already knows how to stand, but it's either one way or the other using a lot of hips. So I do want you to think about stretching prior to your photo shoots. You wanna stretch out your feet. So like this, there's gonna be a lot of that. Um, I was a dancer in my previous life, so I love this kind of stuff and I use it a lot in my posing when I'm photographing women. And if you're gonna be, if I'm gonna be photographing you, you're gonna end up being really, really sore. So here's a couple of exercises for you. Definitely switching your weight back and forth and stretching the arches of your feet like this prior to your photo shoot. Um, you should actually start doing this about a week before your photo shoot if you can. not But just in general, you can do this while washing the dishes or putting on your makeup, like just sit there doing this. Um, and drink lots of water because if you don't, you're, you're gonna end up getting some Charlie horses. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you while you yes. are modeling, yes. right? Because in yes, yes, especially if you're gonna be wearing high heels, um, you might end up with Charlie horses and stuff like that. So bananas and lots of water prior to your photo shoots for sure. 
Um, the other thing that I want you guys to think about is your hands. And so this kind of posing actually goes for everyone, not just our plus size. Um, but hands should always be what I call working hands. Um, they should be engaged, and if you give them something to do, then you don't have to worry about them too much. However, the first thing you have to realize about hands is that wherever your hands go, attention is going to go, the eyes are going to be drawn right to the hands. She does something amazing that I already love it, you know, as a previous dancer and also a lover of art like Renaissance, all that good stuff. I love a pretty hand. So look how she's holding her hands already like this. It's super pretty, it's demure, it's soft. You look at all paintings, they're gonna look the same. The other thing is kind of like your dancer hand and she has that already, look at that. Super beautiful, super classy. You take your middle finger and kind of drop it down a little bit and you create these beautiful shapes. Another thing is that we kind of want to see the profile of her hands because it's just prettier um, rather than like the front of her hands. So like the wrists and stuff, we don't want to see that. And also be careful with the back of your hands. So if you do a flat hand like this, the eyes are going to go straight to your hands. Now if you kind of soften it up like this, then it's okay. Or if we rotate it a little bit, then that's going to be a little bit better. So let's talk. Whoa, I am speaking fast. Should probably, I am excited. I should probably slow it back down. Are you guys taking notes? You should be. Save this video for future. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about some jobs that we can give our hands. Of course, there is the job of touching. So what could, what, what kind of um, examples of touching would we have? I like to say this one, temple. So like if you take the middle of your finger and you kind of bring it down to your temple, yep, just kind of caress your hand. So giving your hands the job of caressing your skin and then be like, oh, I have a headache right here in my temple, perfect. And then like stop right there, see where she landed. So she went down like this. This is what I call a toothache. Oh, I have a toothache. You know, you've given your hand that job. I always, I always find it funny when I say that, but. <laughs> Your hands are working hands. Okay, so right here. Now, the other thing with your hands is your hands can also be framing. So framing would involve something like this. You know, you create a frame around your face, that's framing. Framing can also be like around your body. Just remember that when you are framing, when you're using your hands, that's where the attention's gonna go. So if she does something like this, she is framing her face and the eyes are gonna be drawn right to her face. Beautiful. You are so gorgeous. <laughs> I just love it. Okay. Yeah. So now watch. Attention is going to go to your eyes. Let's create a waist for her. So go ahead and put your hands on your waist and she's already perfect. So she already knows what to do. Her fingers are pointing down and her hands are not back here. So like put your hands back here. You know, that's, that's not the same as her putting her hands over here and creating a smaller waist for herself. Right there, that's going to create a smaller waist because your eyes are going to be drawn right here rather than back here. Perfect. And then if she shifts a little bit, rotate your elbows back. That's also going to kind of give it a better, a better frame of the body and it's going to allow us some space back here, which is super important to create those curves. Fantastic. Um, another way that I like to also put, place the hands is with them pointing down like this. So that works as well. And she can bring her hands even closer to her body right there. And that's also very pretty. So I tend to not be like, you don't want to do this. <laughs> Always, you know, kind of demure and pretty. So now we've done the face, we've done all of that. Another job that our hands can do is what I call like connecting. So if I wanted to connect, for instance, with the camera, I might turn this way. And so I'm gonna put my arms here and kind of just touch right here. And then I'm gonna be connecting with you. But if we're, if we're actually modeling together, so turn towards me, this would be like connection. I would have her place her arm right here on my shoulder, like this, good. And then her other hand is going to go right here and push her elbow back behind her. And so that's gonna create connection. Okay, another thing would be like pulling or touching. So she could actually grab her hair here. Again, we're giving hands something to do. So here she's connecting and here she is pulling. Perfect. And then if I wanna connect with her, I'm gonna wrap my arm around her here. She's gonna bend this knee to give her a nice beautiful curve. I'm gonna bend my knee. Our hips are gonna go towards each other. And then I'm gonna place my hand right here, which is gonna be touching. Perfect. And then we're gonna to lean towards you a little bit, all right? 
So now we have some connection, we have some touching, all of that stuff. Pull your hair out that way, because that'll be cute. Oh my gosh, tell me that's not a cute picture. <laughs> all right, I love it. So just kind of remember to give hands something to do if we had fabrics, or you know, here she's playing with her hair, but she might pull her dress. Um, so if she was wearing like a gown, I might make her go like this and pull on the gown. Just give your hands something to do so that they're actually working and they're engaged and it's not so posy. All right, so remember we have to start with our base, which is gonna be our legs. So always pushing the weight to different sides. Um, so she just naturally already puts all her weight on her right foot. She's gonna lift this. But see, if my feet are out, it's gonna make everything wider. So I wanna bring everything closer to me. Ooh, I got a cramp. See why you have to stretch your feet? Um, and then bringing the knees across your body and kind of sliding back is going to help. Um, I've also said this before, if you push um, your upper body back, then this is gonna appear wider. Now, if you're more apple shape, you may not wanna do that. So you might wanna push your hips and everything else back and actually lean forward towards the camera. So this is gonna depend on your body. The number one rule to remember when you're posing is that anything that's closest to the camera is going to appear larger. So what? So you just have to make those decisions. Do I want my eyes and my head to be bigger? Do I want my feet to be bigger? Um, do, I, do I wanna lean away from the camera or towards it? If I'm moving my hips backwards and my chest is coming forward, then this is what's gonna appear bigger and then this is gonna be smaller. And it could be the same this way. So you can rotate this way towards me. Put your arm right here, elbow back, and then lean towards the camera as your hips go back. Perfect. And then she can actually, you know, kind of rub the back of her neck or even put her hand above her head. Yep, so that's gonna um, look different. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, let me know in the comments and don't forget to tell me what you would like to see me do next. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel down below and turn on the bell so you can get notifications every time I release a new video. Follow me on Instagram at maribella underscore portraits and also on TikTok. <laughs>